this back is not zipped up. It's open. It's like an open pocket. And there's two sections. There's one section for your water bladder. And then there's one section for all your stuff. And it's open, which is an interesting concept. Welcome to Conscious Gear Lab, where I show you all the fun things that I'm making in my Vesta Vibe series. Sit back and relax and enjoy. Hey fam, so I just wanted to show you one of my earlier designs. Uh, it was African inspired design. And I kind of stumbled on making this because um, because I had always wanted to make something African inspired, but I had never had, well, I, at least I thought I'd never had any material. But what ended up happening was I ordered some fabric from a colleague of mine, and I thought the fabric was gonna come in this kind of like soft, cottony um, material. But then it just, what ended up happening is that it was a more of a wax, so it's like, like stuff turned, it's got a little coating, so it was. And I tested it on water, and so it was water resistant. Um, so initially, when you put the water on, it'll roll off, but after a while, it'll start to soak in. So it was water resistant, not waterproof. Um, but I love the design. I love how pretty it was, and so I made made me this. Um, and so I want to say that this earlier design was during a phase when I was kind of still playing around with design. Um, because one thing you'll notice is on the side, there is webbing. In the beginning, I used webbing on the sides. Um, it proved, it really depend on the person, but by and large, um, thin webbing, for, sh for sure, people never liked the thin webbing. But the more thicker, um, wider webbing, for some people, it worked really well. Um, however, it just, um, it wasn't what I wanted. <laughs> I thought it was what I wanted, but it really wasn't what I wanted. I was never all that comfortable with the webbing, so I was like, I don't know, I'm gonna change it up. Uh, another thing I did was I was playing with the zipper. At first, it was all about the zipper in the front. Um, Cause I thought, oh, zipper be, would be good. Um, but, I went away from the zipper and did the clip so, so that you could have more room to adjust. Once you zip it up, that's it, you're done. Um, although I do think that I might go back to the zipper because I, I don't know, I think I like it. Um, also, you'll notice that I used a little mesh on the front of the pocket and then there was an inner pocket with zippers, which is something people have asked me a lot about. Is there one with zippers on it? And it's like, from my, this is some of my earlier designs when we had the zippers. Um, and so we'll probably go back to that because um, I can see how important and invaluable that is to kind of be able to zip your stuff up, particularly your phone, right? You don't want nobody's phone. You don't want your phone lost or anything like that or your keys. Um, and so this is some of my earlier designs. Um, let's see what else can I tell you about it. I used a different kind of mesh, which is this hexagonal mesh. You can see how I still got the edge of the uh, zipper on there. Um, and then, um, let's see, oh, and I did something different in the back too. So yeah, you still got your handle here. Oh, I did something different on the front too, what I forgot to tell you. So first of all, like your water hose definitely, definitely has the capacity to go through here, which I will probably tack up now. I now tack it up a little bit in the, just on the edges there so that it doesn't move. And then I also put a little one up here too. This this having this kind of um, holder here was important because I did this, this back is not zipped up. It's open. It's like an open pocket. And there's two sections. There's one section for your water bladder. And then there's one section for all your stuff. And it's open, which is an interesting concept. Something I tried. Um, I wanted to see. I probably will not ever do a hydration vest that doesn't enclose the back. Because I, I just think, you never know. Things can really pop out. Um, and I, but, but I, I think it was worth trying out and experimenting with, so I did do that. Um, well, this is the fabric here, the African inspired fabric. But this up here is just a piece of ripstop. And then what I did was I used some heat transfer vinyl 
and put the name of my company there. So that was something I did um, to make this work. So just wanted to share with you guys my African, oops, share with you my African inspired hydration vest. Ooh, this is elastic too. So, um, which I probably wouldn't do because um, you don't want it to um, be stretching out. You want it to be secure. Um, so it's my African inspired um, hydration vest. Yeah, I like it. Um, and I hope to do more. So thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you next time on Vest of Vibe when I share with you what's going on in the conscious gear lab.